new week and new ai agent from google deep mind google deep mind has just released sima which is a generalist ai agent for 3d virtual environments this agent is capable of executing tasks in diverse 3d environment which are game specific based on natural language instructions it utilizes pre-trained vision and language models, integrating image language mapping and action prediction without game-specific coding. Sima has been trained across multiple games. Sima demonstrates the ability to generalize skills and understand instructions, significantly outperforming game-specific agents. If you look at this diagram, it tells us that Sima is an AI agent that can perceive and understand a variety of environments then take actions to achieve an instructed goal. It comprises a model designed for precise image language mapping and a video model that predicts what will happen next on screen. Google DeepMind has fine-tuned these models on training data specific to the 3D settings in a SEMA portfolio. Their AI agent doesn't need access to a game source code nor bespoke APIs it requires just two inputs, an image on the screen and simple natural language instructions provided by the user. Sima uses keyboard and mouse outputs to control the game's central character to carry out these instructions. The simple interface is what humans use, meaning Sima can potentially interact with any virtual environment by using this architecture. If you look at this simulation, you can see that how SEMA is doing it. The current version of SEMA is evaluated across 600 basic skills, spanning navigation, which means like turn left, turn right, or object interaction, like climbing the ladder or bit of flying, and menu use, which means open the map, select the tool, so on. Google DeepMind has trained SEMA to perform simple tasks that can be completed within about 10 seconds, which is huge. Now, if you go through this paper, there are various other examples which show you this gameplay in different way. For example, let me make it a bit bigger. So look at this one. For instance, in here, it is picking up iron ore. On the right, it is opening up the hub terminal, just like a human would do. And then below in this one, it is finding the water on the right hand side. It is chopping down the trees. And this is a no man's sky game. It is going to the spaceship. And this is all being done by the AI agent. And in all of these skills, the SEMA has performed wonderfully, either similar to what human would do or even better. Video games are a key proving ground for AI systems, like the real world. Games are rich learning environments with responsive, real-time setting their ever-changing goals. And we already know that Google DeepMind has done wonderful things when it came, came, comes to uh, AI and games. Their early work with Atari games and then Alpha Star System, StarCraft 2 at human grandmaster level. Google DeepMind has already proven it and that is why this new milestone SEMA where they are shifting their focus from individual games towards a general instructable game playing AI agent. They also have this technical report with a full paper where they have introduced the SEMA and SEMA is short for Scalable Instructable Multi-World Agent and it, as I said earlier it is a generalist AI agent for 3D virtual setting and they have already partnered with game developers to train SEMA on a variety of video games. This research marks the first time an agent has demonstrated it can understand a broad range of gaming worlds and follow natural language instructions to carry out tasks within a, as a human might. And this work just isn't about achieving high game scores. Learning to play even one video game is a technical feat for an AI system. But learning to follow instructions in a variety of game settings 
could unlock more helpful AI agents for any environment. And this research show that how we can now translate the capabilities of advanced AI models into useful real world actions through a language interface. I'm more than sure that Seema and other AI agent research can use video game as sandboxes to better understand how AI systems may become more helpful. So th that's it guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. I will drop the link to this in video description. Let me know what do you think. I think that this is going to be the future because these results already show the potential to develop a new wave of generalist language driven AI agent. And though it is an early stage research, but I think this is going to be huge. If you like the content, then please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you are already subscribed, then please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.